Alright, so I'm going to be giving my thoughts on now. This is crafted by Alter, or manufactured by Alter, I should say. <clears throat> and she's from Hayika Ryu Samurai Girls, the anime. And yo, so, here we go. First off, I'm holding the camera because for this particular figure, she's actually hosted by, or she's held, or hammered, supported by a separate piece. Now I'm going to get into that a little bit later. But anyways, in terms of the figure itself, it's really nicely sculpted. I think Alter did an excellent job on this line. So I can see why it's pretty popular. All the girls are doing pretty well, so there you go. So taking a closer look, we see, as expected, a Walter. Great scope everywhere. And the colors are really nice and vibrant. <clears throat> now the base is kind of plain and boring for me personally. At least they put some sort of design on it with the little flowers. But I wish they, they would have done a little something a little different. I don't know. Maybe something more unique. But I guess this works well. You want to have a whole line and simplify it. You could pose her with the chain, which I chose to do. Or you could just pose her with the regular handle. I just stuck it there because whatever. I don't want an extra piece laying around. I'm pretty sure it doesn't go there. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to move the figure around because I'm going to have to reposition the support pole for the hammer if I do. But let's get on to the hammer. The hammer is really detailed. I think it's great. I think that's probably my favorite part of the figure. Kind of resembles like a temple, sort of, the middle part. So you can see there. And great details all around. Let's take a closer look. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that letter resembles or represents. So I'm pretty sure someone would probably let me know in the comments. Take another look around. You see the top. It has like flower design, which is really nice, nicely done. And the bottom has the same letter. Now herself has some interesting items. The togo, I believe that's what it's called, or the rope, just to simplify it. It's actually loose. I'm pretty sure it's meant to be like that. Let me take a look behind her. I'm trying to move the camera behind her without shaking the table too much and of course it's very revealing because this anime is full of etchy scenes <laughs> and she just stands on the base on three pegs two on the right leg and one on the left leg and she also has golden bells on her ponytails and one of her ponytails is a separate piece but other than that very simple very well designed and great colors overall. <clears throat> now the con for me, and I'm pretty sure it goes for most people, is the way they popped her hammer. <clears throat> Especially if you're moving around or you decide to move around, it's gonna be sort of, um, I guess I wanna say annoying, but how do I put it? Yeah, somewhat annoying to reposition the prop. And it's a little iffy. So people have mentioned that her hammer starts to kind of make the pull or doesn't the pull doesn't support the hammer anymore but so far I just received the figure so we don't know yet I'm pretty sure it will be fine as long as I don't move it around too much I think it will be okay but that's my only real complaint about this figure how Alter implemented of her holding the hammer which they would have done something else I get it that the hammer is pretty much one side heavy and the other side is going to have trouble holding it so I don't know but yeah that's my opinions on the pull. So overall, I like the figure a lot. It's probably gonna go with my favorites list. And the only real thing is about the second pull supporting the hammer. But other than that, I think if you're a big fan of the series or you like the girls in general, a lot of people like um, June Bay. But I like now. She's pretty interesting and funny. And yep, those are my thoughts on her. And I'll see you guys next time.